Hello again, YouTube. Parrotfish here. Uh, today, I am in the very small, quiet town of Norris, Tennessee, with a population of about 1600, 1602, I believe, according to Wikipedia. Um, Norris is a very quiet, cool little town in the Knoxville metro area. Um, it's about... It's right near I-75, just north of Clinton, just uh, west, I believe, of Knoxville. Um, and I, I just love this little town. This is Norris Middle School that you're looking at right here, which is so neat looking. Um, yeah, I, this is this is the, I guess, the downtown area, if you want to call it that. Um, I got some other really cool places to show you, so... Let's go see what all they got. Got a nice little, looks like a soccer field or ball field, some kind of little community field here, right across from the middle school. Commons, Norse Commons, they call it. And Arboretum, if you can read that. So, never actually walked around the downtown here. I've been to Norris a hundred times, but for a different reason, which I'll show you here very shortly. Got a nice little bandstand, it looks like, and a little picnic area right here. Not really sure what that is. Oh, that's a library right there. Maybe the cutest little police station I've ever seen. That's Norris Police. post office convenience store Let's see what else they got I guess there was a Norris High School at one point I'm assuming where the middle school is now even have a food center. How about that? So yeah, I guess this is what you would consider downtown Norris. Not much, but where I'm about to show you is pretty cool too. So hang with me for a minute. There's a better look at the library. Unique looking. Yeah. That's such a pretty little town. But my favorite part is what I'm about to show you. Sorry for the sound of my noisy truck. Nice little view right there. That is the Clinch River, I believe. We'll see more of it here in just a second. So here we are, Norris Dam State Park. That is the Lenore Museum right there which I have been in once to use the restroom. It's usually open. Um, this is, as I said, a state park, this part of it at least. So this is the Clinch River. I 
believe there's a little, small little tiny dam down there. I believe past that you are allowed to get in the water. I don't know that they want people getting in the water here because as you can see it's not exactly stagnant. Yes, as you can see, dangerous water. So you don't want to get in that water. You can fish in it though, I believe. But there's a bunch of signs saying danger. So this is my favorite part right here. Um, this is a, it's a two mile, uh, they call it the Songbird Trail, as you can see here. So it is a bird sanctuary and, or just wildlife sanctuary but it goes two miles that way, circles back around along here. Um, I'll try to get some shots of that too so you can see what that looks like, but this is my favorite right here. I, I love this trail. Maybe one day I'll come back and do a, do a full video around the trail. But for now, just little clips. Yes, this is still considered Norris. I believe this may be close to the city limits. I'm not sure if it's actually still the city limits, but it is Norris. So, so this is just a couple, couple hundred feet from where uh, we were just at. Um, this is the barn of some sort. And I apologize for this being a little longer. I just want to show you guys there's, there's a lot to see here. So just bear with me. It is the second day of October, so fall is fully in session. There's also some hiking trails right up here, but they're kind of uphill, so I guess for a little more advanced hikers. And there's a grist mill right here. Of course, there's a family. It looks like they're taking pictures, so I'll try to just do a quick shot. There's the grist mill. You can see it. Looks like it's a gift shop or something, too. Yeah, just beautiful. And this road's pretty cool, too. We might take a quick little drive down there. So I scratched the idea of that gravel road. You guys have seen gravel roads. It's pretty, but this video is already eight minutes long and I don't want to bore you guys to death. So this right along here, right through that tree line over there is that bird sanctuary we were just at, that walking trail. So I'll try to get a few little shots of it. That's the bird sanctuary. See the walking trail right there. All right, we've made it almost to the top. That is Norris Dam right there. You guys, I'll show you guys the uh, other side in just a minute. There is also camping here. If you guys like, like to camp, there's a campground right over there up that road the rest area so and here we are final stretch of the video made it to the top so that is Norse Lake one of the prettiest lakes in the state in my opinion um, and the reason I say that and I don't know I'm just going off of my own theory here is that Compared to other lakes, at least the lake that I grew up on, um, it seems like there's less houses everywhere. So I, there's more trees and foliage. And um, I don't know, the water just looks prettier when you're down there, it looks cleaner. There's not a nuclear plant, it's just a, just a dam here, as you can see, this is Norris Dam. Um, right down there. 
is the walking track. It comes all the way over here. So you come up that road right there, come across here, then take the long and windy road up. And there's a boat dock. I can't remember the name of that boat dock there, but there's a big, uh, you know, has all your marine needs. One more for good measure. Okay, I want to thank you all for tuning in. Um, yeah, it's if you're in East Tennessee, you want to see a, a good pretty place or need a good lake to go to, Norris. Just remember that. So, thank you all and um, stay tuned. I will see you next time. Thank you for your call.